The People's Republic of China PRC, has increasingly turned its attention to the military strategies employed by Russian forces in Ukraine, utilizing an unconventional intermediary, the Belarusian Armed Forces. Recent reports from the Institute for the Study of War ISW have underscored a deepening military cooperation between China and Belarus, indicating that Beijing is keenly interested in the operational lessons gleaned from the Belarusian army's experiences in the ongoing conflict. Major General Vadim Denisenko, commander of the Belarusian Special Operations Forces, recently remarked on the uptick in military exchanges between China and Belarus. Over the past three to four months, Chinese military representatives, along with delegations from Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan, have participated in various military exercises conducted in Belarus. This burgeoning partnership signifies that China, akin to other Central Asian nations, is eager to absorb Belarusian insights into hybrid warfare tactics, which encompass the utilization of drones, trench clearing techniques, and urban assault strategies, all of which have become vital in modern combat scenarios. China's interest in these military competencies reflects a broader strategy of observing and integrating Russian methods of warfare. Although Beijing is not directly engaged in the Ukrainian conflict, it appears to view this situation as an opportunity to enhance its understanding of hybrid warfare and refine its military response capabilities. Historically, Russian influence in Belarus has been robust. However, the current geopolitical climate, intensified by the war in Ukraine, positions Belarus as a crucial conduit for disseminating Russian military techniques to non-Western allies, including China. On the global stage, NATO continues to keep a vigilant watch over the situation. On October 28, NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte disclosed concerning intelligence from South Korea, indicating the presence of North Korean military units in Russia's Kursk region. This development may suggest a potential increase in military support for the Kremlin. The military cooperation between China and Belarus could be seen as part of a wider network of shared military knowledge extending beyond the Russia-Belarus alliance incorporating various Asian allies and strategic observers intent on leveraging Russian military expertise. The situation in Ukraine remains fluid, with recent operations underscoring an escalation in hostilities. On the night of October 27 to 28, Ukrainian forces executed a series of drone strikes aimed at Russian infrastructure, including distilleries, to impair Russian air capabilities. In a parallel vein, Russian President Vladimir Putin acknowledged his country's labor challenges but sought to reassure citizens by emphasizing a low unemployment rate, insisting that the national economy can support a prolonged military engagement. Amidst these developments, international support for Ukraine appears steadfast, characterized by strong collaboration among Western allies and ongoing diplomatic initiatives. In a related context, Moldova's constitutional court is set to review the results of the October 20th referendum on October 31st illustrating the conflict's impact on promoting democratic values in neighboring states. Concurrently, Georgia is grappling with civil and political strife concerning the outcomes of its 2024 parliamentary elections, a reflection of the mounting tensions along Russia's periphery. In conclusion, China's growing military partnership with Belarus underscores a significant shift in how non-Western powers are adapting to contemporary conflicts. By studying and integrating the lessons from Ukraine, China positions itself to enhance its military capabilities and strategic responses, while Belarus serves as a critical intermediary in the transmission of Russian military practices.